you got to play around, figure out what works for you because despite what the directions say or how it's supposed to be worn, maybe that's just not your thing. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another hair review and this one is from the brand Love Me Hair. You know I've worked with them a few times before. I absolutely love their hair. I have several wigs from them and they asked me to try out this wig and give you guys my thoughts. So today, this is the wig we will be reviewing. Have some little highlights in the front. It is a center part. Y'all know how I feel about that. And you're gonna hear, let's, matter of fact, count how many times I say center part in this video because I feel like I said it like every other sentence. So have some fun with that. But yeah, this is what the wig looks like. This is how it turned out. If you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. If you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and let's get into this hair. So you know this purple box. You've seen it before. It comes loaded with goodies. I got some lashes this time, a scrunchie, which I don't think I've gotten before, some earrings, which I have gotten before, and these are fun to dress up my look. And then this is actually, I forgot the name of the things you hold your phone, but they sent a rate comb. And then here is the wig. This unit comes in 10 inches, 12 inches, or 14 inches, and it is 180% density in the color 1B, and the highlights are number 27. The parting space on this is two inches wide, and it's six inches deep, and the cap is a Swiss medium brown lace, which is actually a little darker than I've seen on some of my other wigs. got our combs in the back and then you got your combs on the side and then this one also comes with an adjustable strap sewn in so you can wear this one glueless so right now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna style this I know that I need to straighten the hair get it to look a little sleeker but I'm really just trying to figure out if I can make this work with this part because I don't wear a lot of center parts. That is not normally my thing. And I like my lace front to be 13 inches across. So I'm just gonna go through and try to style it and straighten the hair real quick. So I'm using my AG Firewall, which I love. It's just to help heat protect and to smooth. And I'm taking my flat iron and I'm just straightening the hair. And then I'm gonna go and just add a little bump on the edges so that it's not so straight. Not a big fan of straight hair. I just feel like my face is long already. So anything that is super straight and doesn't have volume, I feel like just makes it longer. So like I said in the beginning, you have to find what works for you. So this is the final reveal of the hair straightened. I thought it looked really pretty. You can see the hair has some great movement to it. So I was like, okay stiff wear not this hair and I really really like the highlights I think face framing it just gives it a little pop so now we got to try it on without makeup because you know sometimes you put something on it looks a certain way and then you do your makeup and it looks better so I like to give you guys both in case you don't wear a lot of makeup You don't see an expression on my face yet because I'm still just like, oh, <laughs> I don't know, but we're gonna try to make it work. The hair is really soft, very silky. If you're not into a silky texture, you definitely will wanna spray this with some dry shampoo to kind of dim down the shine. But with bobs, you tend to want a sleeker, shiny look. So I'm like, oh, maybe I can make this work. You can see it does look like it's plucked a little bit in the front. That front part doesn't look that thick, but I am gonna go through and do a little more myself just to try to help it. All right guys, say a prayer for me because listen, me and center parts are hit and miss. I 
I'm anxious about this one mainly because it has that small section of lace in the front. And I just feel like, I don't know, we gotta try first. So let's see, I'm gonna use my wig grip because that is what I normally do and I know it works. So let me pin my hair up real quick. Being that this is such a small closure, I'm gonna show y'all again. This is the only lace that you get in the front right here, just this little piece. I went ahead, I put some of my wax stick in the front and then I also plucked the part a little bit because it just looked way too thin. And then I tried putting some hairspray to help kind of with the flyaways, that didn't do anything. So that's why I'm a little anxious, but too early to tell. So I'm gonna do the elastic band first and then put her on and I'm gonna cut the lace on my head. I did not tighten the adjustable straps in the back. See like this doesn't even look like I curled it. And I realized with a bob, you're kind of supposed to wear them a little straighter, but I'm wondering if I would like this more if I did like some curls going away from my face or something like that. So I'm gonna put some powder in the part just to make that help hide the grid lines a little bit. But just to give you an idea, like this is the sides. There is no making this blend. There is no nothing. Like this needs to stay as a bob covering the sides because this does not give any kind of realistic vibe at all. But I like that it lays flat and I like the little streak in the front. So you can tell the difference between like how far back I plucked it versus where I didn't. So I definitely think that helped to make it look a little more realistic. I just didn't think I needed to do it as much in the back, but definitely wouldn't hurt. I guess I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of spray here in the front. And I did pluck that just a tiny bit as well. I'm trying to make this hairline look as realistic as I can, but at the same time, there's only so much you can do when that's all the space that you have. So I'm also gonna cut this a little bit. I did that with another wig that I have and I felt like it looked better. I will say that I think this lace blends really well. I put a little bit of powder like you saw, but I don't feel like I needed to do much else. It's actually kind of dark, which I don't know that I've run into that before. I wasn't planning on trying to melt this and do all that stuff, especially since it does have the elastic, I feel like I don't really need to, but at the same time, I feel like if I want this to work, I may have to. So I'm gonna try to do a little more as far as styling it and see if that helps, but I just do not feel like this hairline is something that I personally can get used to because I don't, one, I don't love a center part. Two, I just feel like this looks super plain, which again, maybe that's the Bob style and I'm just not used to it. So definitely nothing against the brand. I have worn Love Me hair before. You guys know that's one of my favorite wig brands. I have several. I'm realizing too that I would probably like this a lot more if it was a little shorter. This style, I just don't feel like looks good this long. Wax spray to the rescue. Trying to do something with these flyaways. I'm showing y'all this because this is the way it's pretty much supposed to be worn. Like straight bob in the middle, little bump at the ends. But if I'm gonna fight with this to try to make it work, I am gonna try to curl it in a way that I feel better wearing it, which would be probably something that's not gonna hold, but 
this is basically the look. I mean, it's a bob, it's straight, the hair is very sleek, very shiny, so if you don't like shiny hair, this may not be the wig for you, but again, for a bob style, that's kind of what you want. I'm just not loving these flyaways, and I don't want to make it shinier, but I'm gonna put a little bit of Garnier. I just really did not want to make this shinier. Like, the hair is already shiny. The wig is cute, don't get me wrong, and I think that it has pretty good density. I'll have to put, I put the specs up already, I'm sure. If I haven't, I'll put them up again. But, you know, as far as like the specs and the density and all that, I think it's great. But just in terms of like a straight, I'm gonna try to cut this little piece here. Sometimes if you cut a little V, I just, I feel like I'm at a loss for words. I am not a straight um, center part girl. I'm gonna keep saying that. If you are a center part girl and you like how this looks, then this is right up your alley. As you can see with this lace and the way that I was able to apply it, I didn't have to do much. The elastic band helps to make it glueless. I just can't do it with these flyaways. I can't stand having hair in my face. I like the option to be able to comb it back away from my face, which you can't do with this one because of the parting space. So pros and cons, it is what it is. I'm gonna show you, although the back's probably not curled anymore, this is how it looks from the side. And here's the back. I love the little streaks in the front. Looking at it in my mirror across the room, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad, especially since it's laying flat on my head. But again, I'm just... <laughs> Say it with me. I'm not a middle part girl. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I'm still just looking in the mirror because I'm trying to figure it out. I think that the wig itself is beautiful. The hair is beautiful. It is pretty thick, like it's not too thin for it to be able to wear it straight. It's very, very soft. It is a very silky texture. So keep that in mind if you're looking at wanting to get something that is super easy. Like you saw, I put it on elastic band, a little spray in the front just to keep this flat. And that's about it. I just wish I felt more comfortable wearing a center part. Comment below and let me know what you think about it. Tell me some ideas if you have any of something I can do. Maybe that'll make it look a little better, or is it just, this is what, what it is when you wear a wig that has a smaller parting space, or a smaller lace space, part, parting space as well, and not the full 13 by four, or 13 by six, or whatever. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still trying to play with this and see if I can make it something like, okay, this kind of cute, but yeah, that's my review. The hair is gorgeous, and I'm sure someone out there is gonna see this and be like, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I hope this video helped you. I will see you guys in my next video. Again, thank you Love Me Hair for sending me this wig. Gorgeous style, love the highlights. Just wish I could get used to seeing me in a middle part. I will have a coupon code down below if you guys are interested in picking this wig up. It is Barbell Barbie. That's the code for most of my stuff. So if you would like to try out this wig and you wanna save some money, check out the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right, guys, I couldn't help it. I felt like I was not doing this review justice because I know I personally don't like straight hair. So I took my flat iron and I just kind of went over it and curled backwards away from my face. And I already feel better about this. This is so much, like I just feel like this style doesn't look as flat. It doesn't look as just boring. Like this has a little volume to it. It's still very, I still have flyaways. Don't love that. I could probably use some hairspray or whatever, but I just, I think this looks so much better than how it looked just being flat stuck to my face. So that being said, that makes me feel a lot better about this wig. It also 
I have to be careful with this front part still. So this probably still needs to be a little flatter, but overall just giving it some curl and some dimension and some body really helps kind of bring it together. And it also helps to accent the highlights in the front. So yeah, I like this a lot better. I didn't finish curling the back yet. The back's still straight, but I just had to see how this was going to look. And I wanted to give you guys an update. So that is that my curls are uneven. I'm going to put it on my wig head and fix it. And now I'm more likely to wear this wig. You got to play around, figure out what works for you because despite what the directions say or how it's supposed to be worn, maybe that's just not your thing. This is a lot more my thing than what we had before. So just wanted to give you guys that update. And yeah, if you were on the fence and you like this better, now you know you can rock it either way.